hello everyone good morning in this video I will show you how can you create a beautiful documentation or training materials or you want to uh, or you want to assist your customers by easily creating documentation in very short time okay uh, basically it will uh, create a step-by-step -step guide for your user your new hires your customers or uh, yeah, training anything like that okay so the service we are we will use in this uh, for this purpose is called scribe okay the website is scribehub.com it's, uh, it's uh, let's see what it provides it let it's saying turn any process into a step-by-step -step guide instantly okay it, uh, and very beautifully and very customizable okay so uh, there is a pricing here for unlimited guide it's free and that will serve and that will serve our purpose okay and uh, if you go to the home page it's great uh, it's saying that uh, it can basically help you to onboard new hires automate documentation build training materials answer questions assist customers something else okay we'll see the step-by-step -step process so let's say uh, you are a trainer you want to create a guide uh, to uh, for your users uh, how to uh, create a repository in github okay so let's see how can we do that okay here's this uh, for this purpose uh, you have to log in uh, or create an account to the scribehub.com i am here in my uh, currently in my dashboard and uh, you need a chrome extension uh, this is called scribe uh, in chrome extension uh, uh, chrome web store just search for scribe you will get the uh, extension here uh, I have already installed the extension okay so it is basically here okay so uh, now uh, let's say how can we create a new scribe uh, or documentation okay so let's uh, go let's say you are in github you want to record how can you create a repository just click here on the scribe page click on start recording that's all it's saying capture has started now first of all you have to go to github.com click enter after that if you want to create a repository you have to create this plus icon you have to create new repository you have to create uh, give a repository name let's say this is test scribe repo then we have to write a description here after that you have to uh, click on the let's say you want to create this is as a public repository or private i'm clicking here public repository yeah i am i want to add a readme file okay after that i have to create the uh, create repository button i have to submit so our repository is created uh, after that if we want to clone the repository i uh, have to do this uh, HTTPS clone or uh, SSH way or GitHub CLI way or you can download the repository by clicking on download zip it's downloaded that's how let's see that's our purpose uh, is served now I will click here to stop the scribe stop recording now we'll check what scribe have provided to us it's it's uh, written here github workflow navigate to github.com uh, first step is navigate to github.com after that we have to click here it's marked here after that you have to click new repository and click the repository name field types uh, here we uh, we can edit this type your repository name after that uh, click the description optional field 
type repository description here click on the private field click the public field let's say uh, I want to remove this step just click the delete step click the public field uh, I also want to delete this step after that um, after that click the add readme file it's okay click create repository click code click SSH or click github CLI or click uh, HTTPS button click download zip these are the step click on code that's it let's see click on done now our uh, step uh, github workflow is completed you can now share the steps you can share within uh, peer by email address or you can add as iframe or you can export as pdf or as html markdown etc let's uh, let's uh, you can share the public url also now if you go to the incognito window click on the now you can see the workflow is written here okay so it is created by me uh, when and how many steps are there okay and you can see the full workflow here okay let's say how the PDF workout this is the beautiful PDF created by scribe okay so these are the workflow with screenshot and it's very beautifully documented I hope this will help you in your day-to-day -day life to create documentation or office materials or something uh, for training materials or for many other things that's all for today i will see you in next one